Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July the 31st of 2021. Well, it is titled Remembering Neowise. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image from just a year ago. And if you recall looking at the sky a year ago, uh, one very prominent object was a visitor to the uh, inner part of the solar system known as Neowise. And Neowise was a comet. Now comets come in all the time. We detect multiple comets every year. However, to have a bright naked eye comet such as Neowise is relatively rare and is something that happens once a decade or so. And here we see a comet Neowise, uh, the head of the comet down towards the bottom, and the two tails stretching up towards the top. And comets have two tails generally, the right the faint tail going straight back with kind of a bluish tinge to it is the gas tail that is made up of individual atoms. And they are pushed straight back from the sun because they are very light. The other uh, tail is the dust tail and you can see that that's wider and spreads out and curves towards the right hand side. And that is because those particles are a bit heavier and are left behind as a comet orbits the sun. Now, when we look at a comet, the tails tell us something about where the sun is and where the comet is moving. So from looking at this image, the comet itself, the sorry, the sun would be down below the image. So the tails are pointing away from the sun. The sun would be in the opposite direction down towards the bottom below this image. The comet must be moving to the left of the image because the dust tail is getting left behind as it moves. And so that tells us something about the direction of its motion in the sky. Now when comets move through the sky, they do so slowly like the planets. So you will not see a comet flash across the sky. There's a big difference between a comet and a thing like a shooting star. The comet will just sit there. So if you had looked at the image this day, as you see the big dipper up above, you would have seen the comet hanging near the big dipper. And if you watched it for a few days, you might notice it slightly move. And we notice the same thing with the planets. Planets were identified as objects that looked like stars, but appeared to wander among the stars. So whereas the pattern for the great uh, Great Bayer, the Big Dipper here, would remain the same from year to year. Other planets and objects like comets would move among the stars, which gave them a uh, special importance to ancient astronomers. So if you remember, a year ago was when we had lots of images and lots of uh, to see comet Neowise that visited us last summer. So that was our picture of the day for July the 31st of 2021. It was titled Remembering Neowise. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.